with me now, Evan Bernstein. He was, he's with the Anti-Defamation League. Welcome, Evan. Hi, Carol. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for being here on a difficult day. The, the suspect, Frazier Gled Miller, yelled Heil Hitler from a police car after his arrest. Listen. Evan, after that, is there any doubt in your mind that this is a hate crime? I, I think it's very hard uh, not, to, not to start seeing this as a hate crime. Uh, a distinct anti-Semitic incident. Uh, when you have two Jewish institutions that were targeted, uh, you have a person who is the top suspect uh, that is a, a known white supremacist for, with, for over 30 years, uh, you know, spouting off his views uh, of, uh, against Jews and against other minority groups. Um, and obviously what you, just, what you just heard out of the back of the squad car, uh, you know, I think it's, it's getting closer and closer, I'm sure, to law enforcement be making that official claim. Well, it makes you sick, doesn't it? Oh, it, it does. It does. You know, uh, we put out a, a report, the Anti-Defamation League, last week warning uh, institutions about the potential of something like this. And to actually see it happen, uh, you know, it, it's just it's such a tragedy, uh, you know, for the entire Jewish community, but it's specif specifically, you know, Kansas City and that Jewish community and, and, and the general community that, that's been affected by this. Um, going back to the suspect for just a second, and you mentioned some of his background. He's a founder and former leader of the Carolina Knights of the Ku Klux Klan and the White Patriot Party. He was also caught by the FBI with a stockpile of deadly weapons and other very sensitive time. Has there been, in, has there been an, um, a significant spike in these kinds of attacks? There's, there's always, unfortunately, throughout history, there's always been, uh, you know, Jews have always been a target around holidays, you know, whether it's Passover, Rosh Hashanah, or Yom Kippur. And we always feel, feel that it's, it's necessary for Jewish organizations to try to ramp up the security in, in the best way they possibly can to protect themselves. Um, it's something that we, unfortunately, have to do on an annual basis. And, uh, and, you know, now because of what happened, we really hope that institutions across the United States really uh, use this uh, horrible tragedy as a learning experience and can look at their own systems they have in place, emergency evacuation systems and other security systems to make sure that uh, if, God forbid, this does happen, that, that the least amount of uh, casualties or, or, or harm can come to their, to their people. Evan Bernstein, thanks so much for being with me. I appreciate it. Well, thank you. Thank you.